In this problem, we will write a full ionic equation and a net ionic equation for the reaction of silver nitrate with aluminum chloride. We'll start by writing the correct formulas for the starting compound. Silver nitrate is AgNO3, and aluminum chloride is AlCl3. We hopefully recognize that this is a double displacement reaction since we have two ionic compounds. And so the products are going to be obtained by swapping ions for the reactants, and we end up with silver chloride and aluminum nitrate as the correct formulas for the products. Then we'll balance the full equation using coefficients of 3 in front of silver nitrate and silver chloride to balance the equation. This is referred to as the full molecular equation or the full equation. Then we need to decide what to ionize. And remember that all strong acids, strong bases, and soluble salts should always be separated into ions. If you look through the substances in this equation, you see that three of the four substances are soluble salts. Silver nitrate is soluble, as is sol uh, aluminum chloride and aluminum nitrate. But silver chloride, the product, is insoluble. Write this equation as an ionic equation. We've left in blue the silver chloride, imp implying that that one is an insoluble solid. It should, be, should not be ionized whereas all the other substances are soluble salts and are written in ionic form. So we end up with three silver ions, an aqueous solution, three aqueous nitrate ions, an aqueous aluminum ion, three chloride ions on the left side. And uh, on the right side, we have um, silver chloride as a solid, as I said, plus aluminum ion, an aqueous solution, and aqueous nitrates. Finally, we're going to obtain the net ionic equation by canceling out the ions that are unchanged on both sides, as are referred to as spectator ions. Those would be the nitrate ion and the aluminum ion. And what we're left with at that point is a net ionic equation for the reaction that's, that shows the reaction of three aqueous silver ions with three aqueous chloride ions to produce three formula units, or three moles, of solaride. Since we notice that we can reduce the coefficients to the lowest whole numbers by dividing all by 3, we end up with a final net ionic equation with coefficients of 1 in front of everything. So one silver ion plus one chloride ion in aqueous solution yields one AgCl as a solid. So the overall solution is shown here with all of the steps involved, starting with the reactants, writing the the complete formulas for the products, balancing the equation, uh, writing in ionic form all of those strong acids, strong bases, or soluble salts, then canceling out the spectator ions to obtain the net ionic equation.